object of study shosho hello friends in this lecture i'm going to talk about shosho and structuralism but since the topic is so huge and complex i will divide it into two videos this video will give you a basic outline of language as a structure the properties of language and its function in the next video i will discuss about semiology with examples and what is sign signifier and signified and their relations which is necessary to understand structuralism do watch the second video let's continue so what is object of study object of study refers to the objectives or the objects that we generally study in any subject for example the object of study in biology is the physiological system of animals in psychology it's the function of the brain and so on so before we continue is something odd here why am i citing examples from the disciplines of science let me tell you something is in fact new even if not odd Firstly, we, were, we are talking about the object of study in language, which is a discipline of humanities. Therefore, when Shoshua talks about studying the object of language, he is talking about the systematic study of language as a science. Thus, he developed the structural study of language and is called the father of structuralism. Formerly, language had no such dedicated approach to study of study it was used as a medium to study other subjects but shosho introduced an approach to study language itself and that is why i have given the examples about the objects of study from science in order to give you a hint about the science behind language therefore what is the object of study of language shosho suggests suggests semiology as the object of study of language Semiology means the study of science, such as words, mathematical science, geometric science, gestures, etc. So, what do we study about these things? Shosho says that we study the nature of these objects, that is to say, the nature and func function of language by referring to science, how science operate within a language. He outlines four aspects of language, which he says have dual objects. Number one is hearing visibly speaking when we say someone is speaking it implies that someone is also hearing and vice versa both are two sides of the same coin it is a cyclic process i speak you hear and subsequently you speak to someone else thus keeping the cycle running Number two is physical visibly psychological the objects of language have a physical form linked with a psychological concept number three is individual vis-a-vis -vis social how a person speaks with others is an individual activity he or she speaks in his own individual manner but the words gestures and other signs and the and that the indiv individual uses to speak are taken from a social domain language is a huge huge spectrum of signs present in the social consciousness and individual members of the society cherry picks words sentences according to their individual needs and circumstances number four is language as the link between present and the past language is a continuous system of communication that have evolved through history if i say it is raining today the sentence refers to the present condition as raining but the sentence and the words in the sentence even the phenomenon of rain is not new rain has occurred numerous times in human history the same sentence has been used infinite times in the past therefore when we speak in a language our words and sentences create a link between the past and the present lastly shosho says that language is a structured system and speech as its primary agent he explains the act of speaking into three different parts. Number one, the physical part or the sound waves. Number two, the, the physiological part, that is the act of speaking and hearing, the, phenomenons, the phenomena of speaking and hearing. Number three, the psychological part, that is the concepts associated with certain words. Hope you have understood the concept and liked the video. If you want me to make a lecture on your chosen topic, name the topic on the comment section below. If you like the video, please hit like, share and subscribe for new uploads.